Is this the final nail in the coffin of fixed position camera based just walk out systems? Oh, wow. And hey, you're starting me off hot. Uh I think sadly, I think very, very sadly, I, I, I think I'm going to actually say that it is. I'm going to make this, this statement. Is it. That I, I think it is. I think this is the nail in the coffin. Quite simply for the fact that just walking out of a store, as we talked about last week, isn't that valuable of an idea to consumers as a point of differentiation. And also perhaps more importantly, all the other benefits of the cameras, specifically pricing and inventory accuracy, can all be accomplished more simply and easily and cost effectively with other systems, especially right. in store robotics, right? Right. We've talked right. about that a lot on our show. So, so the implications of all of this, of all of this from this announcement from Gabango are big in my mind, because Grabango was actually trying to do it in the least capital intensive way, like you mentioned. They're doing it without shelf sensors, but yet they still had trouble getting traction. So yeah. my prediction, I'm gonna be bold here. My prediction, bold, right at the start of this podcast. My prediction is that all the activity in this area is going to cease, particularly among grocers, and that more investment and energy will be put towards things like in-store robotics, which, as I've said before, will make 2025 the year of the in-store robot. Because just walkout systems are getting pulled back. Robotic implementations are already on the rise. You're seeing them go from grocers to warehouse clubs. The, yep. the trend is already heading in that direction. And this news just further intensifies that trend, in my opinion.